what's up guys this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States and yes we're at it again we are gonna hopefully blow a hole through this entire line of Austrians so let's make sure that one thing we don't really have huge amounts of coming in is artillery right off the bat it's mostly gonna be infantry we need um, let's get cracking. There's nothing super scary about what we're facing. There's some decent troops. We need to be careful we don't get caught out and mauled by pikemen, for example. Uh, but for the most part, we should be fine. Let's get ready. So we need to just... Just keep pumping more and more troops in. Just so that we don't have to spend two turns recruiting and replenishing our armies. We want to have fresh armies ready to go every turn. Somebody's always in a good position to maintain the pressure because it's it feels like as soon as we stop they just pump out a bunch more guys and we don't advance we don't make the progress that we want we are making progress but it's very incremental we're not having the decisive engagements we want so because we're against a lot of enemy troops not a huge amount, but enough. I'm going to put um, a gun team, two gun teams in the line. Mm, not necessarily the best position. High ground would be good, but I don't necessarily want to try and advance onto the hill to take it. Yeah, I might put one gun team in the line. two gun teams are going to be at the back trying to use the high ground to try and oh yeah it's the first time using the volunteer regiment be interesting to see what firing drills they use let's give them a bit of backup um i might just withdraw this heavy cavalry right off the bat i don't think it's going to be super useful for us 24 pounders as usual churn out quick line Oof. About base. Kill the enemy general. Or well, an enemy general. General's charging. This regiment of foot is going to form a square and buy time for everybody else just to run directly away. What? What are you doing here? Okay. Cavalry's coming. Oh my god. Abandon your posts! Flee! Flee for your lives! These guys are screwed. Yep, those guerrilla mercenaries, understandably, were not going to last very long there. Where's this infantry unit coming from? Oh, like the, the worst possible location. Right, hopefully we can kill this general's bodyguard. Kill another general. Just send guys to their deaths because there's no we don't have a choice. Everybody is just going to be forming square out of panic. Although panic is subsiding somewhat. Okay, we can start to turn you guys around. Now it's just focus on this infantry that's making 
good progress towards this. Killed another enemy general. Our gunners are exp a bit done for, but that's not terrible. You charge the light horse. Infantry commit. Volunteers, position. You men position at threat here. Just keep forming square. Just keep engaging everybody you can. Right, preemptively drop into square. Bring the mercenaries ran. Just maintain the square. Maintain the square. Defeat the enemy as they come in. You get in here and also attack the provincial curve. Holding. We are holding them off. Who are you? Swiss line. Don't mind if they get if they hit our guns. Oh good, they broke before we got there. Awesome. You guys back here, howitzers and limber. I don't mind withdrawing to the protection of the guns, I just want my howitzers to not be in as much danger. Swiss line are a threat, so let's just pull back. Regiment of the cavalry push up here. Okay, we're sending everybody scuttling back. Withdraw, push my general forward. Right, you might have to sit here and join the action. General, engage the light foot. Uh, that unit, they, they, they were stuck out on the flank a bit too long. Foot artillery, engage that unit of Swiss line. You engage that Swiss guard unit. Mercenaries are killing my cavalry. The scallywags. You men, get over here at speed. Okay, as the enemy withdraws, I do want. New men get involved in that engagement. Everybody can start withdrawing. I think the shrapnel shot's getting good. It's, it's, it is going off too early. But we'll do it again! Excellent. 
We kill okay, we have killed it. This regiment of foot get up here to bolster this position. Regiment of horse withdraw. These other two units just run roughly into position. Okay, let's now go for canister shot. We are now in range. the line back a bit further. Get these volunteers back over here. Swiss line's about to get into position. Excellent cavalry. Okay, you might bolster that flank. Excellent. Okay, we want to start hammering those bigger units. So they, they're now starting to withdraw to form up to attack again. So it's a good set of outcomes. Rocket troop marines. See these volunteers, they don't yeah, they, they they just kind of hold the line. They're not necessarily they are not um alter they're not alternatives to line if I'll we'll say that. Okay, you men are gonna go here to bolster the left flank. Other howitzer unit start to bombard infantry in the center there we go man I know you're tired see them off we need to keep we need to maintain this position approximately we don't know who else is going to come out from the, that ground Okay, you might further bolster the left flank. Okay, right, now we do want to focus on the centre. Break them and push them back. That'd be super. Good. Militia are here. Just focus on quick climbing the pikes. Everybody else we can deal with in the musket line if we need to. Blow a hole right through that formation of militia. Cavalry go for the Jaeger. Okay, you come up here, get ready to hot reinforce the right flank. We can engage the Jaeger before they place the stakes. Yes, we can. Good. Swiss pikes did make it into our line, that's not great. But if we mob them with both of our infantry units. Okay, 
great. That's Freikor on the right. We should be okay. Okay, good. There we go. Because we were able to mob them. Keep killing them. We want them to shatter. You go after them. Okay. Power to fire. Shift your fire start support the other flank. Because these guys have foot artillery able to support them. Also shattered. Chase down the Swiss line. I'll try to get my general to try to pursue that pike unit just to make sure it does stay away. You men up into the line. There we go. Just start to chase down and kill infantry unit by unit. Switch to round shot, engage the howitzer unit out of range. I might actually commit my general to chase down some of the enemy units in the field. Pikemen are back. Focus on them. Infantry is shattered. More line infantry. Okay, yeah, we do want to focus on the new threat. Okay, General. Chase down those sharpshooters. Foot artillery. Round shot the howitzer. Okay, you kill the last of the Swiss line. And go after that Swiss pike unit. We're not going to chase down the militia. That's very much a low gain for us. Well, re well, relative. I suppose it's not relatively. I guess there's still lots of okay, that unit broke under concentrated fire. Okay, let's pull everybody back. Tank ground quick climb because we can't necessarily focus on getting everybody in the way we want to. Push these men up. Well, you're now too close, so limber up. Twelve pound that's a bit further away. You can focus on that Frycor unit. On the flank. How's our ammunition state? You guys are pretty poor. Okay, you chase down the militia. You keep chasing down the Swiss pikes. Actually, you might come after this artillery unit here. One of these gunners is going to limber up. Position ready. How oh, it's uh, get out of the way. New men advance. Gunners get over here. Bayonet charge the line. 
Excellent. It's then destroyed. There's still militia coming in. Frantically trying to save save them. Okay, let's try to get my cavalry to take out that rocket troop. Ultimately, you may as well run. Okay, you men form up. General might have to get back here rapidly. Artillery. Let's get ready to move our entire line. I don't think this is sustainable. Take out the enemy rocket troop, then we'll try and slam them into the back of our line. I just want to try and I mean I might have to do that right now. Let's say nuts to the rocket troop. They're still coming in. Curacier coming in. Bring them in. My Curacier, they didn't make it, they got engaged too quickly. Yep, these men might just have to fight it out, just hold the enemy up. Yeah, still coming in in numbers. Regulars, Albanians, mercenary warband. Okay, these might be all for you, so let's try to recover them and recover you guys. Emerald in the line. Light cavalry sharpshooters. What a bug. That's so dangerous. Surging forward again. Okay, howitzer engage. That unit of Freikor, just keep picking them off. You men, shrapnel shot, the line infantry right in front of us. My cavalry is going to get ready to deploy to try and mop up. Ooh, Curacy air. You might have to deploy like so. More heavy cavalry. Can is the shot. That's nine heavy cavalry killed in one volley. These guys are running in the worst possible direction. Run towards the edge of the map, not all the way. Okay, cavalry. Get over here. Back. There you go, 
get two units of cavalry, get to one unit of cuirassier, should get them. One unit push onto the warband, another unit push onto the irregulars. You've got the line infantry sewn up, you should have anyway. Okay, I think. Form a defensive position at long range, general withdraw. go after the sharpshooters I don't th I think probably not worth trying to everybody come back so don't think well we're not going to be able to hold off against such a swarm like that the humans smash the mercenaries I mean I'll try to keep hold of you if I can We lose the artillery, that's okay, we've got more on the way. Get down here in a limber. Excellent, you've taken care of them. Charge on into the next sharpshooter unit. Regulars are still here, Curiosier is still here. Well, that's a howitzer unit. We don't want to don't want them in the line. This is why we need to stack up troops. Exactly for situations like this. Quick line. I mean, this has turned out to be a lot more interesting than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Get on. Get into the line. Foot artillery. More howitzers coming in. These guys are probably going to form by a round shot. Yeah, see, normally, cav you know, Grassier against uh, sharpshooter cavalry is usually a good option, but you know, this time there's just too many. Unlim there you go. Stop. Unlimber. So these guys have been, they've been, they're used to overwhelming every line they've come across. This one, however, is a bit better positioned. Especially when the 65th arrived. There we go, you finally ran out of steam, haven't you? Don't need another general. More cavalry. Commit the general. Artillery all fire round shot at that unit of engineers. You chase down the Prycor. Swiss guards. And the company will advance. Okay, the weakest unit can engage them. The remainder 
gauge elsewhere. See, we're still able to bring reinforcements into the field. This is more like what a battle should be. Push unit on to take another unit. Let me press the air, engage the infantry here. Six Swiss guards. Gunners withdraw. See if we can get a bit more cavalry in here. Damn right, we're going to continue. Go after the line infantry, not the militia. Countrymen. Good. Go on against the engineer. Cease fire the artillery. Kill the last of those infantry. Nice. Attack the militia. Okay, so this unit, the first army, has got a, a well deserved like, a period of rest and recuperation coming. It's just you guys attacking. The last of these engineers, then. You likely don't. You, well, you don't need help, but yeah, you're right. Let's try getting them around the stains. Yeah, they've split up quite funkily. Pyrrhic victory. I don't know if Pyrrhic's quite the right way to do it. You know, look, this this army got the ass kicked out of it, but it still has one slot for probably a howitzer, I think. You're dead. You're dead. You're gone. You're back over the river. You're as a you. If we can get all of those Austrian units across the river, that's a really good, good outcome for us. Excellent. There is a couple of units still across the river. Not that we bother quite so much. Xavier Clapperton, you require how it's uh, in support. Let's go 24 pounder because it will be brought up Ready quicker. For. You're requesting an artillery unit in, as a reinforcement, and I want to get you a skirmisher. I mean, there's probably stuff on the way, but I I rather stack things up to come to advance forward rather than. Um, not. Okay, you may also replenish. Myrna Southerns is still replenishing. I and mean, we don't necessarily need both of these to protect the town. Protect um, Amsterdam. Okay, you need to push up to here. Um, you are still refitting. So. You're going to boost them. I mean, yeah, we've got lots of awful lot of things we, we we just need troops you upgrade this back in the americas sir excellent your orders should we create one gun team plus two infantry i guess you've got Got some irregulars. Yeah, let's get a volunteer infantry unit. They were fun. Something like that. And then let's recruit another general. Some colonial like Cav. Puckle guns are just rubbish. Something like that. Just start recruiting immediately. Then out of Al Albany, just keep recruiting infantry. Awesome. And at Lisbon, you are just at full chat, recruiting more troops. Morocco, so boosting your army. I mean, you're just here to... We're here, at the minute, down here, we're just trying to block Austria from sending more troops this way. We're not necessarily bothered. Siege works underway. Ronald Babington, just keep 
Keep Strasbourg under siege. Joshua Rafferty, I mean, you've got the ass kicked out of you. So Cologne. Everybody's recruiting like mad. Everybody needs troops. So over in India, I think we've done everything we can do. In, we, we can do in India, really. That's been done earlier. Squeak forward a little bit. This is a bit of a melting pot. Curious to see what happens here. Engelbert, you're you are at full chat. London's at full chat. Scotland's also recruiting lots of stuff. Okay, let's hit end turn. So I am likely, almost certainly, going to chop the recording during this end turn phase because the uh, there is a few factions here that really like to slow this down. Not naming any names, Austria. I think realistically we're in a position where we want to attack Spain as well because Madrid would be so much more useful as a production centre than Lisbon. There we go. Radio. See you in a second, everyone. Ho oh ho! Here we go, boys. So they laid siege. A unit has attacked Zagreb. And this is it. We're on. I think I want to make a breach in my own walls. Um, I'm almost certainly not going to want artillery from any other supporting arm. Focus on infantry right at the front. Um... Uh, yeah, I am going to want to break, breach the walls because I have lots of foot artillery. They have some, but not much. And they're only... Well, actually, these are 24 pounds. These will crack walls down no problem. Um, there we go. Yeah, I, want, I do want to make breaches. I do want to make breaches. But let's get ready. I'm pretty sure we're level one walls. Um, we've got howitzers for quick climb, so we should be able to do a good amount of damage. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the grind begins. But we are, we are going to want breaches, but it's all about then how do you optimize which breaches you defend. can get messy real quick and this episode is going to be a really long episode i think um but that's going to happen this was kind of what i was teeing up in the balkans anyway okay so i think what i'm actually going to end up doing is keeping these guys in the reserve so where they do break walls down i can start to deploy them this is the enticing thing. So this was the main direction, but we can't trust it because the enemy will come in from anywhere. So we want some. St we want so, so like let's pick these units. Their job and to place stakes effectively around most of the positions we want to defend. Alternatively, I suppose, well, let's group these guys up. We can add more. I think this is worth, this is definitely worth doing at the cost of limiting our initial firepower, because it means when they start to make breaches, we'll be able to do We'll, we'll, we will be able to do a lot of damage regardless of where they come in. Well, I suppose every scene, so, yeah, we want to deploy units already on the walls. Probably want. Get our, get our native warriors up here on the wall. Got another unit somewhere. 
So yeah, just position them above the gates to try and defend them. Cavalry can stay outside the walls for now. We don't want to clog things up. How it says are just gonna sit like here and just keep firing at whatever they can see. Ooh, they have spies in the wall. They have spies in the in the gate in the um the city. The gates are destroyed. Very well. We still want to man the walls. You don't just walk, you need to run. Okay, so these areas that don't have defences need protecting. Although what we can do is... deploy gunners back to back. Howitzers need to be in the centre. Again, they may end up being back to back. I think, yeah, I think the think looks like the cavalry are just going to charge in. So I think what I'm going to want to do is have my cavalry ready to meet them in front of both of the gates. 24 pounder howitzer just stay under cover. General, stay here. My long rifleman above this gate. You just deploy square. Yeah, so I think a lot of yeah, so a lot of the enemy cavalry are just gonna stream straight into here. I guess I want you guys off the wall. Unlimber this these guns and fire by just unlimber but fire it will off. Provincial yeah, the cavalry is just gonna is just storming in through the gates, or it's attempting to. So the general's bodyguard here are dead. These cuirassier guards are gonna run in and around. So the native warriors up here aren't. We don't necessarily need them. We don't need them right now. It's just it's more about positioning. There aren't any windows here to shoot there, so there's no point putting men inside the wall, inside the town. Um, Inside the, the building. Provincial cab. Okay, right. Right artillery. Shoot at the fusiliers. You guys just unlimber. So you can fire it well off. Probably don't want all this artillery up here, to be honest. Why? Wait. Why are you all dead? Oh, you fell. Oh, you. The, this is under attack. Okay, cool. Oh, there's guns over here. Heavy horse artillery is engaging us. This section of the war is also under attack. Yeah, just charge you guys in. And you guys command your guns. Just engage the general's bodyguard. Might run. Okay, you guys have to come back like so. You guys might have to make ready like so. 
They're going to charge around, but they might, hopefully, they go right this way. These war native warriors are useless up on the top. But yeah, these guys, I'm just going to send to their death. So you guys may as well stay in square, because what's coming? Native troops just stay up. Uh, Chubby is here. Colonial troops just pouring fire down the gate. Down above the gate into this enemy cavalry unit, which is alright. These enemy cavalry units, which are okay. I want you to be here to be a juicy target for the enemy cavalry. How it says just keep engaging the enemy enemy infantry. Crossier or Dana, Grenadier Guards. Ooh, one of my guns is destroyed. Come on, General. I don't mind chopping down the enemy infantry with my skirmishers. Okay, you guys have to try and man the gate as best you can. General's bodyguard routing. Provincial Curve still in the fight. To be honest, I don't mind losing gun, gun crews or um, melee units. I mean, ultimately, my reinforcements might just get chopped up on the in the open ground. Particularly if they come in from this angle. I want them to kind of come this way. There we go. Cavalry, cavalry. Make ready. Those are just irregulars. How oh, it says just try and. Okay, right. Cavalry, no. Cavalry, come back in. Defend the door. Don't push out. They're putting volleys into the irregulars. The grenadiers are trying to secure the gates. Well, the uh, they want to try to secure the the walls by the looks of it. Okay, you men just form up. Mercenaries are heading your way. Just pump volleys into them. Well, the Curacier are also coming around. So form square, just soak up as much of their fire as you can. Actually, can you break off that attack? There goes the Irregulars, the Grenadiers that are coming in. I'm kind of hoping Long Riflemen do some good damage to them. I mean, the 10th Regiment are just loading and firing as it, as it is anyway. Provincial Canada down again. You guys can't do much more than stay in square. The mercenaries are, in, are weak, but we need to stay in square to keep the Crossier dying. Ah, they, they are... They, sadly, I think they might have been killed by our quick climb. Both of these units form squares because you've got the horse guards coming in. Still more cavalry, more, more infantry coming in somewhere. No, but you're doing it. Yes, my native troops. They're chasing after the fusiliers. Now they're going to chase down the enemy guns. 
enemy fusiliers are coming in. Yeah, you guys just form square. That'll deal with the awkwardness, although the provincial cavalry are going to catch you, sadly. This regiment of foot was destroyed. Provincial Cav came in, blunted the cuirassier. We're just going to bring more reinforcements in. And enemy reinforcements from the same point. Literally are. We are just coming in right behind them. Where are my native troops? You're doing good. Good, okay. Kill the heavy horse artillery. There's one more unit coming in from up here, so we can kill them both. That's we've limited the number of breaches the enemy can make. Oh. Although there is going to be enemy infantry coming in behind us, that is just going to happen. But still, that'll be pretty ace. Oop, oh shit. Okay, you men, commit. Engage the Hungarian fusiliers. Support the marines. Advance forward. Okay, you guys, come up here that artillery unit. That is of critical importance. Okay, the enemy is now sending troops to come and kill us back here. Form square. Form square. Defeat that this cavalry swarm coming in. Enemy line infantry is coming in now. You over here. Oh, my guys are getting minced. And there's enemy militia coming in as well. This this is what's gonna, gonna really screw us up. More hussars coming in. Cassiera coming in. Men. Okay, you're right. They're not, that's not really not great for us. Okay, you, my native African infantry may have to get up here. May have to stay up here. My other infantry may come down. Enemy Hussars are in here as well. I hate this, this, what rain does to this game for whatever reason for me. Keep holding. Two Hussars and a militia unit are committed against us here. Okay, howitzers. Try and engage this unit, I think, is the aim of the game. I don't think you're going to be able to reach much else. Where's my native troops? Oh no, the, la the enemy land van militia came in. Like, you know, they're good troops, but they're probably not good enough to hold off on their own. They're routing the wrong way, so that's just going to help the enemy. Pan infantry to stay in square, just cause as much damage as you can to the enemy here. Okay, cavalry get over here. If you could kill, if you could cut your way through the militia, that'd be great, but I don't think it's going to happen. 
Yes, Regiment of Horse. Cavalry coming in. Okay, so these this Howitz team is too close to this gate. The militia's dead. There's still line infantry in here. Send the infantry in. Cavalry, hold your ground. General, hold your ground. Actually, no, cavalry advance up to this gap. Okay, my regiment of horse are in here. My line infantry are coming in as well. get my how my howitzer just might have to attack ground just an area but he can't reliably do what we need him to do it looks like I think the enemy for the most part are always going to have an advantage over fighting here Of, of a sort. <laughs> Light infantry coming in. Hey, noise! Sound! Come on, regiment of militia. Push through! coming in but you need to get off the wall so grenadiers and San Sound regiment not ideal set up and be ready. You're going to set up and be ready. Yeah, they're, just they're just committing so many men into this fight and attacking my reinforcements before they can get onto the field. I don't think this is going to be a win for us in the end. We're only 15 minutes in and we're already on the bones of our ass inside the city. The big thing is those that spies and that's been the, the real MVP for them. The fusiliers. You can attack the fusiliers. Shot shooters what? Did somebody like plant a booby trap or something? Can say we've got more reinforcements than that. Not just any reinforcements either. You're a goddamn rest of year. Although they are going to just run away. We don't want the AI to crowd this area. to leave this area especially because we got opportunity to get a couple of good units in so you come in attack the Sars, you men attack the horse grenadier guards because they're right here they're going to get a volley off which is going to suck although they killed a bunch of horses from a friendly unit you come over here, attack the horse guards, horse grand air guards. Usually just place some, you know, halt. Face the other way, place some stakes in case enemy cavalry comes in. Okay, they're dead. You saw, uh, howitzer in the center. 
Let's try and place quick climb shells down here. You come in and help destroy that unit. Eventually, these guys are going to burn through the light cavalry, but it will take some time. Excellent. Now you guys get up here. made a breach in the walls. Come on, kill the horse grenade guards. They don't even have armor on. Okay, there we go. Okay, right. You guys have to form up and engage the Lanvin militia because they're coming back as are some Swiss guards. You man your gun. Trouble is, you guys are just too many. Coming in from too many ways now. My reinforcements are too delayed. And my, my cursier were routed by horse grenadier guards. Scandalous. Fusiliers are engaged in melee combat against the Lanvin militia, so that's not ideal. More reinforcements to get sucked up by the enemy reinforcements. Okay, this line of infantry has to get over here to bolster this defensive position for now. So we can't really cover this front, there's not a huge amount coming through it anyway. Native African infantry get up on this section of the wall. Good. You men engage the militia. There's another enemy militia unit coming in. This, this, this is what's killed us. If we had reinforcements coming in from a different direction, that wouldn't be happening. Because look. This inf we just we can't get guys into the action fast enough to do what we need them to do. Okay, you men engage that unit. You men engage as well. Howitzers just aren't able to do what we need them to do. I mean, your position, you are positioned way too close, but we can't we can't move you because your crews have been intercepted. You need to get off the wall down here as well. Same with the colonial light infantry, you need to get down here too. Yeah, my unit's routed again just because I'm being mobbed by so many <laughs> Austrian units. There's nothing my guys can do. So many militia, 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 Swiss guards. If I could just. You got okay, right? Might have a might have a route in for one unit at least. This unit, are oh, they? They're already engaging the enemy, but they've they're, they've slowed down the entry into the field, so the whole uh, the whole unit isn't committed into the melee. Okay, 
kill them. I like might be able to get a depleted unit of fusiliers in. But here's the real problem. That's a giant block of infantry. I've not got any way of stopping it. Not reliably. You men have to kind of take a position here. Skirmishers have to get to where they're going to get to. We need some of these guys to break, really. 80, 100... It's the Swiss Guard. They're going to really stop this from stop us from doing what we need to do Got four infantrymen here it'd be really handy if they died okay you're gonna just we're gonna have to start pumping in trap shot into that block we can't oh no you're just bugged you can't do anything. Super. They're exhausted, so hopefully... Some good volleys. Ooh, a good, good canister shot. Good uh, shrapnel shot, rather. There. And sadly, you can't quick climb that gate. You're too close as well. Okay, where's those two infantry? Charge them into the charge them into the mix. Same with the fusilier. Same with you. Same with you. My fusiliers run in. Get over here. More enemy militia coming in. Swiss guards, militia, militia. Kill the Swiss guards. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, we just want this this gun team just annihilating that area with shrapnel shot. These 24 pounders could help as well. Get over here. The fusiliers run over here. More infantry for the infantry mess. Militia, militia, Swiss Guards, militia. I think their rate of return on this is pretty good. Try and position yourself away from this carnage. Don't know why you turn. Burn your light foot, get in there. Enforcement's coming in either. See, one of you charged the Swiss Guards, the other one charged the infantry. Ah, oh, General! Artillery. Not what we wanted to see coming in. See if that's far enough away. Steady, they're exhausted. Okay, you guys unlimber. Fire it will off. Trap will shut. Unlimber. 
try and make my artillery just don't not walk into the middle of the maelstrom. In general, focus on trying to kill the Swiss guards. If you can kill them, the militia will crumble. Trapnel shot right down the right down the corridor. Still too close. Yeah, all my all this artillery that's trying to come in now. Just no, go over there. Kill the militia. Let's try to get out of it. Everybody else, just try to kill that damn militia. So they've not got any more reinforcements coming in from this end, but I think the problem is, is now we need a do we. If you can knock out that militia unit, American native infantry, that'd be real handy. Artillery's gonna cease fire because you're gonna have to commit. We've got more, we have more reinforcements, we're just being really unlucky. But this is the okay, right, all of you who isn't artillery. Yeah, everybody who isn't artillery, get over here and run. Everybody that is artillery. You guys just de just deploy and shoot at whatever you can. Well, actually, even then, no, you guys. Oh, you can't withdraw. You guys run towards the enemy. Men are going to have to stop firing. Charge the militia. Everybody has to get down here and man a man, man a defensive position. My artillery has to keep blasting that central that gate. So we don't have a way to stop them. Although this way buys time. Oh, it says engage other things. No, those militia are not operating the way that they the AI intends. Artillery coming in. Kill them. Kill them, pikemen. Kill my gunners. I have no use. You're right, this line of infantry needs to get off the wall as well. It really sucks that I can't. I should have just charged them into the um into the middle of the fight and just not let them. I should have just charged them into the uh into the group of Come on. In we go. Get 
It's just a massive choke fest because it's all this combat in the gate right here. Okay, you guys get out here ready to play stakes. Fusiliers could have done that as well, but don't have time. Kill them pikes, for goodness sake, I'm running them in for you. Good. These as well, please. Because the risk is, if you if you just deployed them and shot at things, the enemy might just ignore them and they're too far away to do any good. Oh my god, it's another artillery unit. shoot, play stakes. African native infantry has to get off the wall as well. Good. You men come over here as well. Howitzers are desperately trying to do some good. Well, they are doing some good, but I think they need to start expanding their target list to go after that unit of militia. You got that unit of militia, go after that unit. Yes, please. Full units of infantry. Get over here. Finally. This is what we want to see. I knew we had stuff. I knew we had more infantry. So one unit has to... would ideally stick around out here. to the fight as well. Good, so, so don't say I've got the same bug that they've got. Get in here. We've got more coming. Good. Don't worry about my infantry, worry about killing my artillery, please. Yeah, god, this game is, is incredibly optimised at times, because look, I can't do anything about making this not bad. This is just the way it is. to go outside the wall and you run over here and try climb down the the wicker like the, the ropes although we have to do something about those pikemen now you know if you are just gonna not do anything about this They are just going to... Oh, oh cool, they, they got hit by um, misses from my infantry, and that was enough to make them break. Awesome.
Awesome. You, that makes you leave me alone? That's fine by me. Former, shoot at the horse grenadier guards. Okay, these men have no ammunition, so they're actually going to go over there instead. These two infantry units clearing out this enemy pike unit, although it looks like they are going to get into they are going to get into melee. Or not? They're going to march away again. There we go. Cool. You men charge forward. You should be able to clear away those two infantry units. We might actually have a shot here. These guys can surround the enemy pikemen. We've got more infantry coming up. The general get up here as well. This infantry unit with no ammunition get into the melee and start fighting. Age. Was that my actual general? Granville Stapleton. Uh, it wasn't this guy. Maybe it was. You guys try run around behind them. This can work. You men, you men attack the Light Dragoons. No, pack, attack, pack. Let's give this native African infantry unit just an order to push through. Don't get caught up in that engagement. Sixteen marines, seventy-six line infantry, seventeen marines. Okay, they shouldn't get through that block. You men between you should overwhelm those pikemen. They might be winning because they are they have more um, troops. Check that cluster. Make sure all my weak units with no troops in do keep committing. Keep fighting. Excellent. You guys have to pitch up here. These guys have done caused problems. If we can just hold the gate, hold this gate, we should be fine. There's one veteran freaking infantryman, which I want to die. Come on, Swiss pipes, break! You're surrounded, you're down to 78 men. How are you still standing? You might be slicing your way through my troops, but I don't care. I don't need everybody to stand. Okay, who's the strongest unit in this this formation here? Native African infantry unit, get over here by this door, hold it. That, that pike unit has done a very good job for the uh, Austrians. It's held up a lot of my troops. But 
not. That's not enough. In which case, you don't need to run. You can get back into the fight. So they bolster their efforts with additional... Their militia has made it into the fight. They appear to want to try and blank around, but we are. My infantry here are holding off this small push. Attack the mercenaries. The marines are coming through a different way. Get ready, general. Uh, artillery sort of backfired there. Round shot, engage. Nobody. So this unit, just get in here. All of these units just get, just get in here. Bring some line infantry over here to bolster the general. Don't worry about the mercenaries, just run in. I don't care that you're tired. No, don't walk. Run! One of you can break off to attack that unit just to stop them from getting up to too much mischief. The general has fallen. Hold them off. Phew! My audio fell over, so I had to sort that out, and luckily the game has reloaded in successfully hey so there is there is still hope you men just attack those mercenaries everybody else just run inside we do have a chance. This unit needs to run up to support the attack against the, the defense against the marines. Everybody else, well, everybody else, this unit is going to go and attack the back of the uh, gatehouse to try and defeat the enemy incursion there. Everybody else is going to be fighting from within, so you're probably going to bolster that defensive position. And you're going to bolster the fight against the Marines, because if that goes wrong... And bear in mind, there is a militia unit over here that's just stood here. They aren't actually involved. Actually, you guys as well could do stuff. Let's get you over here. Actually, get you over here, because you have no ammunition. So it's tempting to fire musketry in here, but if I miss, it starts to hit my own guys and it causes me morale problems. I may as well just pick and, pick and poke at the back of their formation. So we're going to... Yeah, I think, this is, I think this is going to work. So you, where are you? Okay, good. You are on the way out. Get over here. There you go. See, these units are both were both wavering for a second. So the hope is they get these guys start to go. Oh, we've been attacked in the rear, and their morale starts to plummet. That's the hope. If nothing else, we'll still get good kills. Native African infantry, get up here. You 
You men get up there and help kill the Marines. Still enemy. Okay, right. There is enemy infantry on the field again. Howitzers just start picking them off. All my infantry just get up here at top speed. The Marines are winning decisively, but they are being picked off. Push into the gate. Ooh, one second, guys. Oh, no. I think things are okay. I heard a bit of a crackle. Excellent. Form a new defense. No, no, sorry, you, you keep attacking the foot guards. I may advance my weakest units out to try and get them replaced with more capable infantry. Okay, so you guys... No, native African infantry, get in. Stay here. Although you might actually just sit here, cover that entrance. I think the problem is the enemy are now kind of sat there going, oh, rats, now what do we do? This gun team isn't firing. Okay, not you. Yeah, you know, you've deserved a space in the line. If needed, I'll just commit you in again. I'm um, just happy to let my artillery fly around shot, but if it looks like the enemy are going to just dig in and elect to not engage... Then that's okay to me. You guys are just going to sit here and shoot at the... Militia. Okay, there we go. A couple of units are broken. Although... They may be stuck. In which case, there is still 11 minutes to go. So the enemy doesn't have very long in order to have a military effect. So I'm not overly bothered about it. Infantry, just keep everybody running. Let's not rest on our laurels. Oh, I should have. Oh no, wait! You guys did. You guys have successfully escaped. Yeah, they're all turtling up by the guns up on the hill, so they can get stuffed. Native African infantry. Oh, a new enemy unit of militias coming in. Very well, both of you guys fight the militia. But I am going to speed time up because if it looks like if it looks like we're just going to um, wait the clock out, then I may as well speed things up a little bit. Neither my reinforcing unit and the militia haven't entered the field yet, so we can't actually target them. I guess there was a. I guess there's been a bit of a bug. Now, there we go. They're coming in for one last big push. And it is the last big push. Where are you coming in? Six minutes. You're going to come through this gate? Looks like you will. 
first regiment of foot. That was who's almost been annihilated. The very first unit of line infantry I recruited. Veterans one and all. There we go, we managed to annihilate one unit of militia. Get my gunners just blasting that entry entryway with canister shot. Charge the militia. Again, the objective of this wouldn't be to win the melee fight, it would just be to hold them up for four minutes, which is achievable. See, they're still bringing troops in, but now it's far too late for them. So you men are going to run here and hold this gate. There goes the 87th. Four minutes left, let's just crank this up. Ooh. So that was looking really dicey almost all of the way through. There was a period where we could actually bring reinforcements in from a direction that the... We had a, a brief window where we could bring troops in. See, that is my guys and their guys. Austrians and African warband, African um, native infantry walking side by side. But they're going to enter the field first because they're smaller. But yeah, it was just that respite of getting a handful of units in. There was just a, a break in the fighting where we could just get troops out of this cauldron and make it into the fight. But yeah, you guys just hold. Don't expect to win the engagement. That's two minutes to go. Nobody in this area is going to be ready to fight after that happens. <laughs> Nobody's going to be ready. Nobody's... No, none of the armies in the Balkans are going to be ready to fight this engagement. Or any any subsequent engagement, I should say. Yeah, it does just go to show this... This army's convict is currently far too... Infantry heavy? No, artillery heavy, sorry. It's no good. No good at all for the defensive action in a fort this small. But there we go. End the battle. Peric, it wasn't Peric. We defended the fort. It's still ours. Yeah, the army in the city got annihilated. But we've got, we've now got equal forces in the area. Although they can definitely regenerate their forces faster than we can. Uh, that's not something we have to worry about. But I'm going to chop the recording again, so see you in a second. And we've been given an interesting opportunity to intercept a Maratha force, which I am definitely going to do, but we are absolutely over the time limit for this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for some different slaughter, this time of the Marathans. Cheers, everyone.